All right, today is uh, December 20th, uh, 2018. This is uh, Ed Neeland, uh, along with Cole, uh, here doing a home inspection. Um, this is always pretty neat. It's always nice to run into something that uh, we haven't seen before. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk about what we got going on. The first thing you're gonna notice, if you guys didn't already see this rig up, is that uh, we have a temporary lolly column down here. That's a column that has the pins inside of it, like this, uh, which is not allowed. You need uh, proper FHA columns uh, to hold up. But here's the best part about this whole thing. This main beam right here was actually notched and cut. 50% of the beam was actually cut away. Um, <laughs> the support they used for this here main beam, uh, they took a two by four and, <laughs> this is so funny, and then they tied it onto the uh, the main beam right here, uh, the main support column. Uh, I'm assuming as some type of support, uh, but obviously this isn't going to work. So we really only have two options here. Uh, first, we got to replace the lolly column. We could also put a second lolly column next to it and resupport this, or we can replace the whole main beam uh, altogether, which would probably be a better idea. The beam is also uh, not sitting in the pocket on one side. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but she's actually free floating right here. Um, this side here uh, would need another column drop down to support uh, the beam on this side. The third issue that we have here with this here structural support, and it's very hard to tell here in the, uh, the photo, but she's actually canting, she's twisting slightly. And that's really because we're teetering just on uh, one column. Anyway, this is uh, Ed Nealon from AC&E, and I wish you all a happy holiday.